South hose bib. We got a loop. That way when you change it out, say you finish your ceiling and change it out, you pull it out and that loop will go back. Got some heat back here. This is a storage area. Could be an office. It's quite large. We go into the fifth bed, which has an egress. Seals at 43, and then you got a, a outside concrete, basically an area that gets filled with stone, and then there's a full-size drainage tube. So any water that comes in there goes straight to the sump pump. 96% furnace, return, and supply. Still have the return off until the insulators are gone and the ceiling's in. Sump pit, passive radon system. It goes up, squirrels through the attic. We have the uh, sump system comes across. Go straight outside. All the upstairs plumbing. It's all piped in. All above the duct. So as you see, nothing, right? All that's above the duct. So when you finish this off, you still have a really tall, really tall, you know, you're just gonna have a small soffit in the bedroom, long story short. Obviously heat. I have also piped in a bathroom down here with clean outs. There's a water closet, there's a spot for a shower, five foot. We have a lavatory already, already piped in. Um, let me see here. Stairwell, everything's glued and screwed. This is set up for a hallway to go from this wall all the way down to the center line of that. So basically you'll have a hallway, there's a fifth bedroom, here's a fourth bedroom. Same thing, egress window, gets filled with stone, full-size drainage tube in there. And I've already piped in the, once again, piped in the bathroom, so that's ready to go. The water closet, I'll plug it off and somebody else I have to finish it if they want it. Here's your rec area. There's a wall that'll go across here. Then I also have multiple heat supplies for here. And then this is your rec room. So it's quite a large room, like if I back way up here, I mean, this is a, you know, it's 40 feet by, you know, what is it, 20 some feet, so. And that's, uh, it's already piped in for a wet bar, so you just run your potable lines right across the ceiling, drop them down, you know, cause then you'll, you'll stud out a wall, you put your cabinets and, you know, then you can sit here and watch TV and relax. Uh, smoke, obviously the smoke in every room, carbon outside of each and every room. I have under the, once it gets rocked, it'll start pulling air off the floor here in the basement. Okay, you got a twin uh, return air. It's panned up the wall, and then it also will pull high off of the ceiling upstairs. Okay, we got a, you know, 200 amp panel. Secondary, a second stack, this is the first stack coming in. Got a portable system, all bonded. Got a UFA rod, gas coming in, two PSI, got it regulated down, seven and a half inch water column. Radon system scrolls up through. You know, upstairs, this is just air past here. I don't know, what do we got? Water closet and revented. Nobody wants to see any of that. Uh, have the return and supply. So it's a direct vent, so you are uh, pulling the air from the outside and also ejecting the, the exhaust to the outside, obviously, but you're not using the combustion air from the inside of the home. So they'll scroll up, two scroll up top, then we pick up the water heater, which is also a direct vent. Now it goes right out the side of the, the home, goes up, out, and then they both travel along. And the water here goes directly out this side, right out the front. And then have the intake for the furnace on the north side of the exhaust for the furnace. That's a 96% furnace, comes a two and a half ton compressor, 410A. This is like a you know, 45 minute refresh rate for 78 gallon water heater. It's, it's nice, it's clean. So everything comes up, T's real high. And then just the potable system, you got a full three-quarter line that feeds all your fixtures. 
south side hose bib, north side hose bib, and then right here, if you wanted a water softening system, you simply slice right here, put two 90s, and then fish them up and over, and you can have that, I don't know, over on this wall somewhere, I would, I would do it that way, but uh, we're not gonna do it unless you pay for it. So 48 inch wide stairwell, let's head on upstairs. Kitchen area, vaulted ceiling, let me shut this off. Vaulted ceiling, got cans, multiple TV spots. Then this will be, there's an island right here. So we have twin pendant lights dropping down, cans in the walkway. So this will be stone, uh, probably quartz counters. Uh, kitchen, uh, sink, obviously kitchen window over here. It'll come across, you'll hit your stove, refrigerator. So that'll be counter space and you know, then you'll have microwave up top. That everything vents out, do everything nice and clean. Um, that's pretty much that, kitchen water. Um, the rest of the stuff's for the bathroom. And so you'll have your hallway lights, cans all the way down the hallway. And so as you're walking through here, here's a pocket door. This will be white, once again. A door just slides into that pocket there. And then here's your laundry. They have your exhaust recessed in so your, your dryer can go up against the wall. Um, that actually does get an R4 sleeve all the way down. I haven't done it. It's right there on the floor. Along with the return air. So this home also gets um, outside air supply with the dampening system that hooks to the furnace with the two wire. So an outside full six inch pickup. So that'll be outside. It's got a screen for bugs, rodents, and birds. Um, washing machine, potable system, self-explanatory, got a drain, got a can over top. Uh, passive radon system does come up through the roof there. Garage is a mess. This is all the trash that was all over the floor. Obviously, I don't clean up when I work because I'm doing all the trades at once. So um, it is a waste of my time. So insulators are coming. So this is the last look. Got to pull that one brace off the wall there. But everything else is out of their way. Like everything's over here. This is a plywooded wall, so they won't need any access to that. So you'll come in from the garage. Got a little mud room. Could put a little cubby here, kick off your shoes. You got laundry, right? And so then you'll just slide the door open and then you'll have access to the full bath, tub shower unit, 32 by five foot. There'll be a two foot linen, four foot vanity, water closet, single vanity. And then, um, you know, we have the R21 bat, six mil or four mil plastic in the bubble wrap on the back. That's just for insulating volumes. Got Delta accessories in black. I always like to cover most of them when I get going, so they'll, that'll look cool uh, when it is all together. Vent fans, 100 vent fan, R8 through the roof. The kitchen, that, R, that is a 30 inch R8, so that will come down over that pan, and then their insulation pack will be 18 inches up from that, and then that will go through the, the roof uh, fully insulated. Second, uh, Second bed and third bed on the main floor, full of tools, ready to go. Have supplies by the door, uh, in obviously under each window. And then this is a linen closet, so come in, you can use it for a coat rack or you could um, use it for laundry. It's totally whatever they want to do. Everything has coax and uh, cable. I've already talked about the kitchen, so let's go to the master. Here's the master, uh, come in here, obviously standard door. That driver will get sleep, once again, you have TV connections, I did say that, but basically these are just pull up and you can feed them if you're not gonna use uh, um, wireless internet, which most people do nowadays. So got a nice tray up here. You can see it right here, so you'll have a bump out up inside your, your bedroom. Obviously you got a smoke, ceiling fan, and then four cans in here. 
And then this is really large, this is 16 by 13 or something bedroom, it's a good size. Pocket door, so this will be white all the way to the wall, it'll just look like this is door and it'll slide out, slide in. And you got another pocket door right here, it'll be solid white wall, slide out, slide in. And so then it's not, you know, you don't have a door across your vanity or a door hanging out in your bedroom. So, twin vanity, center light, uh, shower, going to be a four by three r21 insulation is already in the wall with four mil and bubble wrap once again delta uh, valve that's black and i'll have to get i don't know why it doesn't like to focus on that white tub but uh, a black drain cover and then water closet obviously back here in the back got a supply right here supply under each window there's one off to the side because of the stairwell, move that one. There's one on the non-functioning side of the slider. There's an island in the kitchen I forgot to talk about, and that's another supply vent right there. And then uh, one by the water closet in each bathroom. So huge closet, there's lots of space to hang stuff. So you can have like, you know, eight feet of shelving here, another four foot there too, and then you know, what is that, five, six foot, you pack shoes. You know, so a lot of, lot of storage uh, in this home. I think that's it, that's it. This is it before insulation and drywall, so this will probably be the last, last little deal. I thought everybody might wanna see that it's actually clean for once. I gotta get that out of here. That's all new stuff, so that's it.